everyone, and welcome to Ask Uncle Buck. I'm your host, Uncle Buck. You got big buck questions. I got big buck answers. Got some great questions this week. Let's jump right in. First one comes from Ben Honeycutt. What is your favorite web comic? Well, Ben, here's the thing. I don't actually read a lot of web comics. Uh, I haven't read a web comic in probably almost 15 years. So... Uh, I do know that you work on a webcomic. I see what you're doing, fishing for a free plug. And I'll give it to you. Go to demon-hunters.com read Ben's webcomic. He's a cool guy. Kyle Jordan asks, favorite president? That would be Calvin Coolidge. Because uh, you have to look up the history on him. He was, a, he was a pretty great president. He stayed his hand a lot. Did a lot of... Uh, he accomplished a lot by not doing things, which is weird. You would think that, that would be a, a, a way to not accomplish anything, but he was worried about like just not signing bills that didn't need to become laws. He fought back by uh, just holding people back from doing stupid things. He also waylaid the uh, the Great Depression by, by several years, and then the people that came after him screwed up. So look up Calvin Coolidge, silent, silent cow cool president. Rusty Dangle. <laughs> How long into a relationship do you have to wait to rip a fat, juicy one in front of her? Uh, man. That's between you and her. Joshua Hemsley. Hey, Joshua. Always giving me good questions. Which are easier, sons or daughters? They both have their ups and downs. All right, so in my case, I have a daughter who's five at this point and a son who is two. She has been a dream so far. She's been really easy. He has been a little nightmare. He's, but he's, he's all boy. Like he's very active and got a very strong will. The challenge with her is she's moody and, and uh, frighteningly intelligent, but then she uses that to try and, and argue with you and debate with you, and it's, it's really weird. Your mileage may vary. Angry Stove. What's going on, Stove? He asks, Buck, why should people come to the USA? Now, Stove is from Australia. Why should people come to the USA? That's a great question. I'm glad you asked. You see, here's the thing about the USA that I like, other than the fact that it produced me, is this seems to be one of, if not the only country that is actively fighting back against globalist tyranny. And that's important because it's like the last stronghold for actual freedom. A lot of other countries are, are dabbling, and I mean, we've been dabbling in it too, the socialism and the just the nonstop BS that goes on in politics and the, the social engineering, people trying to pull the strings to convince you through whatever, through media, through social stigma, to join into this collectivism that is actively ruining the world. We, uh, I mean, Britain fought back with Brexit and we fought back by electing Trump and uh, we're, we're doing our best to drain the swamp, but that's one of the reasons I think people should come to America legally. Do it legally. Bring a skill. Get a job. Contribute to the economy. And contribute to the fight for freedom. That's what I think. So I'm going to keep this one short. This has been Ask Uncle Buck. I've been your host, Uncle Buck. You had big buck questions. I had fast and quick buck answers. We'll catch you guys next week. Bye bye